Oh, hey kids, it's Mr. B and Banjo Bob. Hey kids. And today we're gonna learn about shapes. You know, there's so many different kinds of shapes. There's 2D shapes and there's 3D shapes. But Mr. B, how do you tell the difference between a 2D shape and a 3D shape? That's a great question, Bob. 2D means two-dimensional. Can you try saying that? Two-dimensional. Two-dimensional. Very good, Bob. Thank you. Two-dimensional means the shape goes two ways. Take a look at this square. It goes two ways. It goes side to side. And it goes up and down. One way, two ways. This shape is two-dimensional. Wow. Now a 3D shape goes three ways. It also goes side to side. It goes down and up. And it also goes from back to front. Back to front. Did you catch that, Bob? Yeah. A 3D shape goes side to side. <coughs> up and down. <coughs> and back to front. <coughs> Another way to test if a shape is 2D or 3D is to see if it's flat. Because if it's flat, it's a 2D shape. Let's try the circle first. Turn it over. Take a good look. That looks pretty flat to me. A circle must be a 2D shape. Now let's try the sphere. Rotate it over. This sphere is still pretty puffy and full. It must be a 3D shape. We can further experiment with the flatness of a shape by doing the clapping test. Are you ready for that, Bob? You bet. Remember, if the shape is flat, it's a 2D shape, and you should still be able to clap. Now let's try the 3D shape. Oh no, the 3D shape is too puffy. It sticks out too much, I can't clap. Sorry, Bob, the music's over. Oh. If you're still not sure if a shape is 2D or 3D, there is one more way to test, but leave this one to me, because it's kind of dangerous, all right? It's called the sit test. Here's what's gonna happen. Bob's gonna put a shape behind me, and I'm gonna sit down. If it's a 3D shape, I should be able to sit because 3D shapes are full and they stick out. But if it's a 2D shape, I might be in some trouble. Are you ready, Bob? Give me the first shape. Okay, Mr. B, here comes a sphere. Oh, wow, a sphere must be a 3D shape. It sticks out three ways and keeps me off the ground. Thanks, Bob. Good job, Mr. B. How about another one? Yep, Bob, I'm ready. Give me the next shape. Okay, Mr. B. How about a rectangular prism? Whoa, rectangular prism must be a 3D shape because it kept me off the ground, Bob. That's crazy. It goes side to side, front to back, and up and down to keep me from falling. Pretty cool, guys. Okay, Mr. B, time for the last shape. I'm ready when you are, Bob. Give me the last shape. Okay, kids, let's try a triangle. Oh, no. That definitely wasn't a 3D shape, Mr. B. You're right, Bob. This was definitely a 2D shape. It only goes two ways. This way and this way, but it didn't come up, so I couldn't sit on it and I fell to the ground. It's so flat, I went down fast, Bob. I think I'm done with shapes for today. Well, how about I play your favorite song and make you feel better? That'd be great, Bob, thanks. Okay. I do feel better, and I did have fun today, and I hope you did too. Now it's your turn to find some shapes and learn something. 
All right, boys and girls, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.